Manu there. Welcome to the second part of our series on troubleshooting computer devices and peripherals. Today we'll be taking a closer look at your computer's components and devices. Because so many different things can go wrong, most of them quite harmless and easy to fix, the best way to troubleshoot is by elimination. Check everything that can possibly go wrong before you replace a component or device. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify and propose solutions for common speaker, keyboard and mouse faults, common monitor problems, common printer faults. My keyboard keys have been getting stuck, so I'm cleaning them with compressed air. You can also spray alcohol or another cleaner onto the cloth and wipe the keys clean. Just never put cleaning liquid directly onto your keyboard. You'll have to excuse me a moment. I have a Skype call coming in. Looks like it's Candace. She helps out at the bookstore across the street some afternoons after school. Hello, Candace. Hold on, Candace. I'm not getting any sound. And when your PC has no sound, there are a few things you can check. First, check the speakers. Make sure they're switched on. If they are, make sure that they're plugged into the correct port. The audio port is usually green. Then make sure that the electrical cables are correctly plugged in. Aha, uh -huh. found the problem. If you don't use external speakers, check the volume control on your PC and also make sure that the mute option isn't selected. Right. Say something, Candice, please. Hello, how are you? Sorry, that's better. I'm well. What can I do for you? Well, my keyboard's giving me trouble. Okay, what exactly is it doing? Nothing. It's frozen. And it's not a wireless, so it can't be the batteries or anything. And did you check the cable connecting the keyboard to the computer? Yes. I went to start on the taskbar and shut down the computer from the pop-up menu. Then I unplugged the keyboard connection from the port, made sure it was clean and dust-free. Reinserted it tightly, waited for about a minute and rebooted. Restarting the computer will usually fix response problems. Didn't help much. Press the caps lock key. If the keyboard is working, the caps lock lights will flash on and off as you press it. Nope, nothing. Press each of the shift keys three or four times and try again. Each of the shift keys three or four times. Uh, that's easy enough. Okay. Let's try caps lock again. Oh, still nothing. It might be your port. Uh, try a different port. Keyboards are commonly connected to computers through a PS2 connector or a USB cable. If that doesn't work, you probably need a new keyboard. Okay, I'll try. And if you don't hear from me again, it means I'm sorted. Otherwise, I'll see you at the shop later. Well, good luck, Candace. It's not only the keyboard that gives people trouble. The mouse can also act up and become unresponsive. What would you suggest as possible solutions? If the mouse is wireless, check the battery. Otherwise, check the connections by disconnecting and reconnecting the mouse. Make sure the connection is firm and properly in its designated port. Make sure the mouse isn't in the keyboard port and vice versa. Also check if the program you're using isn't hanging. Press Ctrl Alt Delete once and end the task. Then reopen the program. Otherwise plug the mouse into a different port. This is for a USB mouse only. If there's still no reaction, you might have to replace the mouse. If for instance your mouse doesn't want to double click or the cursor moves too slowly across the screen, you can solve the problem by going to the control panel and clicking on the mouse icon. Click on the pointer options tab and locate the motion section. Move the slider. Make sure the checkbox for enhanced pointer precision is checked. Click apply and then OK. 
Click on the Buttons tab and locate the double click speed. Move the slider to fast or slow. Double click the folder to test your setting. Click Apply and then OK. Hey! Hi, Ellie. Did you come right? Well, it looks like I might need a new keyboard. Do you have any stuff to check for you guys? And now, my monitor's not working. Oh. Is it properly switched on and plugged in? Yep. And it's on. Well, nice. you're not using a blank screensaver, are you? Not that I know of. Maybe it's in sleep or suspended or hibernate mode. Maybe pressing Control or Enter would test this. That's strange. It was working this morning. Oh, a few explanations, though. Right, so, if a monitor that you know works, but does not work on your computer, the graphics card could be faulty or needs to be reseated. You'd have to open the computer case and uh, push it firmly back into its port. What about the monitor's brightness and contrast control? Maybe you turned it down Good and it just needs thinking. to be adjusted. Right, clever girl, it works. <laughs> but okay. the display is rotating. It's easy to fix. Go to Start and then the Control Panel. You'll have struggle with the mouse. Right, then it's to Intel Extreme Graphics Applet. You have to put your hand with it that way. Oh, come on, there she goes. Okay, right, there we are. Then click on Rotation tab. Uncheck the Enable Rotation checkbox. Click Apply. Come on. <laughs> then OK. That should fix it. Oh. Right. If the words on the monitor, though, are too small and unreadable, change the monitor's screen resolution. Right-click the desktop, click Properties, go to Setting tab, check the screen resolution, choose a notch. Then click Apply, and then click OK. My mom's computer monitor. It's slightly tinted, it's like a bluish colour. Is that normal? Well, if your monitor has a tint of one colour, there could be a problem with your screen cable. Yeah, I'll print you a price list of the keyboards I have in stock. Thanks a lot. Oh, that's, I'm having one of those days. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, they definitely is paper in the paper tray and it's definitely switched on at the mains. It's on, look. And yeah. it's not saying that there's a paper jam, well, and it's not flashing that there's no cartridge, so... Many things can cause your printer not to print. If LEDs are flashing, check the ink, toner, or for a paper jam, and correct. Check if electrical cord is connected properly. Switch the printer off and on. Check the printer cable. Is it securely plugged into the correct port? Is there paper in the paper tray? If not, Fill it. If the printer prints when you use other software, you might have a software problem. If not, it could be the printer hardware or software, the driver. Check the correct printer is selected. If all fails, replace the printer. All right, let's try again. <laughs> That's much <Yeah>. better. <laughs> all right. Ah. <laughs> now, you see, my printer at the bookshop, it sometimes prints garbled and compressed print. What's that? Well, the font in the documents may be incompatible with the printer. The best is to change to a more generic font or simplify your layout and try again. And if it's printing streaks and smears, it's... Well, the fuser may be dirty or broken. This will have to be replaced by a professional. Here's your task for today. Your printer refuses to print due to a paper jam. What steps could you take to fix a paper jam? <laughs>